All right, now let's move towards the last reaction that we will be studying for the method of preparation of ketones and aldehydes. Now in this reaction, what happens, uh, suppose we begin with acetic acid. And if I add calcium hydroxide to this, then this is the acid, this is the base, there will be a simple acid base reaction. And this hydroxide part will abstract hydrogen from here that will result in formation of water and a salt will happen. Calcium acetate will be produced. So we have to take two molecules of acetic acid here. So this will be the simple reaction. Now what happens is, now when we heat this calcium salt of carboxylic acid, when we heat calcium carboxylate, then calcium carbonate is produced and apart from that we get a ketone. Now why this should occur and to get a little feel of it I'll, I'll, I'll like you to take back I'd like you to take you back to the reaction that we have studied in the chapter of hydrocarbon. You remember we studied a reaction called soda lime decarboxylation. In that reaction we used to take a carboxylic acid and we used to take soda and lime. This calcium oxide is lime, sodium hydroxide is soda and we used to heat this. And we said at that time that this is an acid, this is a base, there will be a simple acid base reaction with this carboxylic acid and sodium hydroxide resulting in sodium carboxylate and water. And when we heated this, then this CO2 part comes out as carbon dioxide gas because this is a marvelous living group. And when this comes out, what is left out is R- and we add this calcium oxide which acts as a sponge for this carbon dioxide gas to form calcium carbonate. Now calcium carbonate is thermodynamically very stable compound, it exists in solid state and when this is formed then the possibility of a reverse reaction in which R- attacks on the CO2 to give back this carboxylate ion is mitigated. So, so when calcium oxide is absorbed, calcium carbonate is formed. And this calcium carbonate will not participate in any further reaction because this is a very stable compound. So the bottom line why I am trying to rewind the whole story is this is a thermodynamically very stable compound. We have seen this before. So the, this brings about stability in the system. So if there is a chance of formation of calcium carbonate, the pathway of the reaction is such that calcium carbonate is produced in the reaction because stable species are formed in a reaction. So calcium carbonate is quickly formed out of this. So when calcium carbonate forms out, what happens is, one of the section of CO2 will come out and another molecule having CO2 will, will participate in formation of this C double bond O. This C double bond O will come from one of the carboxylate this CO2 gas, CO2, will come from another carb carboxylate and one of the oxygen from one of the carboxylate will also come along. So the CO2 and 1O from another carboxylate ion comes out as CO3. So from one of the carboxylate ion you have only one oxygen and that oxygen is utilized in making this C double bond O. As such, this, this reaction takes place at very high elevated temperature so there is no step by step as such mechanism so that we to be shown. So this happens as a concerted reaction it takes place in single step some bond breaks some bond forms so there is nothing to be shown here in the form of a mechanism. So what we can feel out is carboxylate ion comes carbonate ion comes out from here in the form of calcium carbonate and what is left out if you balance the whole thing is this ketone. In this case we have propenone or acetone. Right? So you have to learn to write the reaction how we get it. For example, if I get propenone
and calcium carbonate so you must know that what is the acid that we have taken or which salt i am heating i'm heating a calcium salt here then we have to learn to identify that which calcium salt i must heat in order to get pentanone so you have to learn this quickly how to write it for example you can look here when we get propanone we start from the salt of acetic acid propanone has three carbon so one of the carbon out of this is going to go into carbonate so if you are starting from if you have the final ketone having three carbon so the carbon in the salt the carbon in the carboxylate ion part of the salt will be one less from that of ketone as you can observe from here so if there are five carbons here then the salt or or, or 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 i'm sorry the way you have to look out is this c double bond o section is coming from one part of the carboxylate ion and the another part is methyl and the c double bond o part of that is going into carbonate ion so you have to look from symmetry here from here you can see this section is coming from one carboxylate ion and this ethyl as here you have one ethyl part is coming from another section but the c double bond o the carboxylate ion the carbox the carboxyl group of this part is going into this carbonate so from here we can see that if you take the carbo the calcium salt of propanoic acid then you must get this pentanone so this must be a calcium salt of propanoic acid so this must be calcium propanoate so this if you heat this salt you are going to get pentanone similarly if i want heptanone suppose i want heptanone this is the this is a ketone this is a symmetrical ketone having seven carbon um if i want this then what was what must be my calcium salt you have to find it out quickly and you must be able to find it out and what must be the calcium salt to which i heat and i get heptanone then you have to look from here this symmetry this part will come from one of the carboxylate ion and this part contains four carbon so this must be a calcium salt of butanoic acid so if you take calcium butanoate we will get heptanone as the product so this is what the reaction is all about so but in this case what we are taking is we are taking only one salt there can be a cross reaction possible for example 